What is going on everyone and welcome back to Universal Studios Orlando. Today is Taylor's first day back to Universal in general and yeah, it's been a while. It just so happens that it's also Harry Potter's birthday. So which I can't believe we missed that. We have got <laughs> to go do a little uh, birthday celebration for old Harry Potter and as you can see I've, yeah. I've really dressed the part myself. We missed the memo. So <laughs> let's go have fun. My favorite parts is just walking into Diagon Alley and like hearing the bricks move. It feels magical. I feel like Harry because he is always just so surprised in the movies like about how magic works even like into his last year. So I don't know, gives me those vibes. Well, I gotta say, what's really nice right now is that <laughs> we're not here at park opening. The park's been no, open for a little while. Like but two it, hours or so. But it doesn't feel like it's very busy in here once again, which is really nice to be able to come in at Diagon Alley and not be kind of bumping shoulders with everybody as you're walking around and trying to see stuff. So uh, we're gonna take advantage and hang out for a little while. I'm gonna get a frozen butter beer and we might try to ride Gringotts. Oh my gosh, how lucky was nice. that? And then just make sure you shake it up, all the good okay. stuff at the bottom. But okay. hold on to the cap because it does fly off. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your Gary's Yeah. Thanks. So, I have gotten my frozen butter beer. I don't know why I always get frozen. I've never even tried the regular kind, but it's just a little bit more refreshing on a very hot day. And of course, I'm wearing a long sleeve today to try and fix myself from the sun. So, it's always really good and it's just, it's kind of one of those things that just makes you feel or immerse like to me I feel a little bit more immersed in the park like it's one of those I know I'm here kind of moments when I've got my frozen butter beer and getting a brain freeze this whole time I've been sitting here basically chugging this butter beer so that we could take photos not even thinking that this is a black straw so you can't tell if I'm actually drinking it or hot so Brain freeze. Yeah, see? Brain freeze. So there's multiple places that you can get butter beer in all of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, but here in Diagon Alley we got it at the We got it at the Fountain of Fair Fortune. I looked at the sign before so I knew what to say, but I totally forgot. But we wanted to get a pumpkin juice because we've never had it before and I really wanted to take a picture. And we actually got their last one that they had in stock for right now until they restock, obviously. So we got some pumpkin juice and Josh is gonna drink this because I already know I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> Alrighty, for the first time ever, gonna try pumpkin juice. Oh. It smells like a hay bale. What? No joke. smell like hay. That smells like hay to me. Or straw. Isn't that the same thing? No, they're actually different. Oh. I just learned something. It's not bad. It... It tastes like pumpkin pie. Does it taste cinnamony? Not super cinnamony, but oh, should have seen that face. It's it okay does, though. It does taste like pumpkin pie. It, it tastes literally like pumpkin pie in a bottle, but um, I definitely can't drink this whole thing. It's really, really sweet. It's super sweet. I don't know if I would like it if it was like a little bit. I don't know if savory is the right the right word, but just not so sweet. Maybe a little more bitter would be the best way to probably put it. 
But I really smell straw or hay. That's what it smells like. <laughs> okay, you totally just missed it because Josh was messing around. But this snake in the window scared me and then Josh pushed me. So then I couldn't get away. <laughs> They were both in a dreadful stew. They thought of trot, they thought of steak, or a little bit of old cod's roll. I said, look round to the old cook shop, I know what'll make me grow. Boiled beef and carrots, boiled beef and carrots. That's the stuff for your darling cow. Makes you fat and it eats you well, doesn't it? All right, we're going to Burl. Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks. This is probably one of my favorite themed stores. Me too. Are they tattoos? Temporary uh, tattoos. Temporary tattoos. What is going on over here? There's something trapped in here. Oh, I never noticed this before, but they've got somebody trapped inside this truck. That is pretty cool. Cool, so I really wanna just talk a little bit about how I still think that even after Star Wars now has been opened and Avatar has been opened, I still really feel like Diagon Alley might be my favorite themed land in all of the parks in Orlando. It's definitely one of my favorites too. I could just spend all day in there walking around and just looking at the signs alone. Like I don't yeah. even need to go in the stores. Like. I just love looking at everything because there is so much detail and like things that you can pick out from the movie, which I love that because we've seen the movie so many times that like we can quote every single one the whole way through. Yeah. Like you don't want to watch a Harry Potter movie with us basically. It just, <laughs> to me, it just feels, I feel more there than I, like when we go to Galaxy's Edge, I definitely feel like I'm not in Hollywood Studios. I feel oh, like I'm at Galaxy's Edge. But for some reason, I feel like I can relate more to Diagon Alley and feel like I'm in that real place than I do at, than I could do at Galaxy's Edge. I think so too, because Galaxy's Edge is not a place that you see in the movies. It was like a new concept for the park. Oh, that's a good point. Where Diagon yeah. Alley is something that we see in the Harry Potter films like multiple different times. That's a good point. You know? Yeah. It's, it's a place... Galaxy's Edge kind of lets you create your own experience, which is kind of yes. what they wanted. Uh -huh. Diagon Alley, you're just in that experience that you already know. So yes. that, that makes sense. I don't know, I just thought, I wanted to point that out. I just, while we were in there, we're walking around and it's not super crowded, so you kind of enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah. It was just, it was nice to like, see some things that we just have not seen before, I think. Mm -hmm. They've always been there, but yeah. just, just didn't notice it, you know? All right, this is our first time in the Tribute Store. Pretty exciting. I can't see yet. Yeah, it's kind of dark. I have not adjusted. Oh wow. Wow, this is really cool. I was waiting to be scared. <laughs> I know, how about it, right? So you can actually pick up some artisan painted skulls. Some of them are a little bit different price, which is kind of cool. And we do have shirts and merchandise, so um, if you guys don't know, like, they really a lot of times all of the merchandise that they get for these special events, they get all of that done way, way in advance, like months in advance. So a lot of this stuff was ready to roll out for Halloween Horror Nights, and unfortunately, you know, it's not happening. So they still have to sell all of this merchandise, which is kind of cool. I do like the old, like, monsters looks and stuff. Like, that is pretty cool. But I don't really see anything just yet that I'm, like, really interested in getting. I think my most of these are like girl stuff. I think it was two years ago. My favorite room was that Stranger Things room. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That was cool. Oh, I do kind of like... Oh, that's cool. I kind of like that hat. Too bad they didn't have one of like your button-up shirts with that print. That yeah, I wish... Awesome. I kind of wish it was more of like a flat bill. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like and that. maybe like the regular like Universal t-shirt. But I think... Is this a woman's cut shirt? It kind of looks like it is. It's really hard to tell, and it's so dark in here. 
and it's so bright outside, it's hard for your eyes to like really adjust to like what you're actually seeing in here. But there is still an AP discount, so I think I am going to keep on, like I'm going to hold on to this hat. So this coloring is a little bit more representative of like what we're actually seeing. But uh, it's actually kind of, I actually kind of like this one. Again, I, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit different. Large, 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 and all they have right now are larges. Here's the same one in a different lighting. It's a small. Oh yeah, that's cool. A Halloween, oh yeah, the ho all Halloween headbands basically. I will say one thing so far though that they probably need to try to work on a little bit is just giving people the opportunity to actually stop and look. Because even with us just trying to have an opportunity to look, they've already basically filled up this first room and uh, they now have more people coming in, but nobody's actually like making their way into the second area. So just like a little thing to point out. I know it's not like that big of a deal, but just, you know. I know, now we just have to wait to get into the next room. Right, which isn't, more which isn't that big of a deal. It's just that they just keep funneling more and more people in here. So when you talk about like trying to space people out. All right, so here's the second room. So there's only two rooms for the tribute store. Check out this clown. I'm loving it. I wish we could have really seen some of the houses this year. So let's see what else that we have in here as we kind of make our way around. Oh, they've got socks. Those are kind of cool. And shot glasses and pins. I'm not a huge fan of this shirt, but you know, still kind of cool. And then we've got like some miniature, they call these furry bones. But these They're are actually kind of cute. But these are actually like, these are basically uh, like a Funko Pop or a, what would you call it? Oh, that behind you is for the ticket booth. What's the other thing? Like what, what was the vinyl nations? That's basically what they are. They're just like vinyl nations. So I'm going to get this shirt. They just rolled out some mediums. So I'm going to buy it. Oh, they've got uh, voodoo keychains. Is that that little, like... Those are a little weird, huh? They've got a bunch of them, though. Please see a team member for assistance with masks. So, uh, all ranging 80, 70, 80 bucks. Pretty cool. Oh, they got the, like, the Michelin, the Puff Man. Sorry, I it. I really like those Jason ones up there. <laughs> yeah, how about it? Really digging the socks. We've got more t-shirts up here. Yeah, but Taylor and I keep talking about how we really like the pumpkins that are on the back wall for the theming. That's uh, pretty cool. Alrighty, well that is going to do it for us here at Universal today, which was a lot of fun. It really was, and I predicted that that was exactly what Josh was about to say. <laughs> I will say this, it was extremely hot outside. It was, but I mean, it's Florida in the summer, so there's really nothing we can do about it. Exactly. But it was fun. We got to explore a little bit more Harry Potter and just kind of enjoy yeah. the theme area and uh, and check out the tribute store, which, you know, yeah. again, sad that there is no Falling Horror Nights, but hey, what are you going to do? Yeah. So, yeah. There was a lot of shade in Diagon Alley, there too. There was, there was a ton. So that, like, made it really nice. Very nice. So, yeah. Um, man, let us know when you guys are planning on coming down to Universal next, and uh, we will see you all in the next one. Happy birthday, Harry Potter.